all praises and glory go to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh by Shem Kakadash. Double honor to the elders of GMS and salutations to all the Akim out there that's pushing this truth. And um, I'm back with part two of this lesson for our black people obsessed with the Bible. All right. And uh, it's an article I was reading. All right. That's the name of the article. Why, why are black people obsessed with the Bible? All right. Because our people have this this uh thing that you know the white man wrote the bible or uh or uh the book has nothing to do with us or or the book is a fairy tale you know but uh, what our people don't realize if is this a book all right why does this book have so much power this book have started wars all right this book have got uh legislation passed you know this book was also able, uh, it was used to, it was actually used in slavery to manipulate us, all right, into slavery, because why the book has power, and the so-called, and you know what, it resonated in our, in our spirit, you know, because the scripture says, uh, 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 let's see the book of Romans, our spirit, what, bear, bear witness, all right, with those words, man. So, yeah, first of all, hold on, let me grab a scripture real quick before I go any further, because you can use the, you can actually use the Bible to deceive, all right? Uh, where is that at? I think it's mishandled. Let's go to the book of Romans before I go on into this lesson. I want to make oh here we go pop right up too all right this is second corinthians uh four and two it says but we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty not walking not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of yahweh deceitfully all right, now check out that word deceitfully real quick. To snare, all right, to 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 ensnare, to corrupt. So look with the scriptures, all right. The so-called white man was able to what Cor corrupt the word and what also what snare us into what slavery by what using the scriptures, man. All right. Besides beating our ass, but hell, the so-called white man he don't even understand the Bible. He was just only he was just able to take certain parts of it. All right, like the book of Philemon and and other uh, uh, uh chapters, and um and um uh, manipulate, you know, because that book, all right, the Holy Scriptures, which what I'm reading from, it does has power. All right, it says, nor handling the word of Yahweh deceitfully, but by the manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves. To every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh. All right. Now, uh, in fact, no, I'm, I'm going to read a little bit further. But if our gospel be hid, all right, which the gospel is what? The, the truth of the scriptures, all right? The good news, all right? What Esau was doing with, 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 with the scriptures, hey, it wasn't the good news. It wasn't, it was bad news for us. Because what? He wasn't actually teaching what was in the scriptures. All right, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. All right, in whom the God of this world have blinded, have blinded the minds of of them which which believe not. And part of that was, was with what Christianity, okay, by them using the holy scriptures. All right, you gotta believe. Hey, you better believe. Uh, the scripture says. Uh, let me grab that real quick. The Lord deals with um balance, man. Complete, complete balance, man. Word balance real quick. The Lord deals with balance. So the scriptures was used deceitfully, 
All right, it was it was used to actually manipulate. Let me see. Uh, yeah, here we go, right here. It says, Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. See, so the Lord deals with what? Balance, man. All right, let's check that word out here real quick. Balance. Scale. Let me see. To weigh, test, prove, consider. That's what the Lord does, man. All right. He, he weigh, uh, uh, test us. All right. Prove. All right. But uh, let's go back, man. Yeah, let's go back to the article. It says, uh... The whites had something the blacks did not have, the Bible, all right? Because, hey, it wasn't just our, 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 uh, uh, when the so-called white man conquered us, he didn't just, uh, take our, uh, our, uh, our, uh, physical riches. He actually took our spiritual riches, all right? Which is the Holy Scriptures, man. He wanted that too, okay? It tell you the, uh, heathen thought the, uh, paint his image and, and, Thought to paint his image in the book of the law. All right. It says the whites had something the blacks did not have. The Bible, the good book gave them authority to overpower the black race. The white man taught the black man the Bible with the scriptures like these that were justified to enslave, which I just explained. Slaves obey your earthly masters, which I explained in the last video, too. Slaves obey your earthly masters and everything and do it not only not only when their eye is on you and to curry their favor, but when sincerity of the of the heart and reference of the Lord. And that's that's actually not talking about us. It's not talking about an actual slave or actual master. It's talking about a leader. All right. Within the church and somebody that's learning under that leader. All right. Remember, it was written to a church. Okay, you people don't understand the scriptures. It says, today the black men still cry that they were enslaved by whites, but will not accept the fact that they played a huge part in the transatlantic, transatlantic slave trade in no way. Am I saying the white men were justified? Which they're going into basically saying we sold our own people into slavery. All right, which that's not true. You know which I wrote, wrote, uh, read the book of Joel, the third chapter, in the last video. You know the Hamites sold Israelites into slavery, all right? You so-called Negroes, you're not Africans, all right? You're Israelites, all right? You're not the children of Ham. Those Africans, all right, they sold Israelites, all right, into slavery, Okay? In no way am I saying the white men were justified in what they did, but I believe the bigger blame is actually with the people who sold their own brother into slavery, right? Then they go, <laughs> oh man, who is more to blame slaves who bought Joseph of his own brother who sold him into slavery? Black people will never get anywhere unless they stop preaching half truths about racial colonization and slavery. We have to confront our own history and deal with it. Like I said, we didn't sell our own people. Our forefathers allowed themselves to be indoctrinated by the Bible so they could be enslaved. They were not smart enough to think themselves at this point. They were even more in numbers than which you don't even un un understand. I'll show you. All right. The Bible is the book, all right, because the scripture says we will have what? No power or what might in our hand, okay? Let's get that. That was one of the curses. All right, written in Deuteronomy 2868. I'm putting the word uh, hand. 
That was one of the curses. Okay, here we go. Deuteronomy 28 and 32. And thou sons and thou daughters shall be given into another people, and thou eyes shall look and fail with longer for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. You see? No might. In fact, let's read. Let's go to... Uh, Think it was something similar. Now she serves. Ease get trimmed. Okay. All right. All right. That was the one. Now let's go back. <laughs> it says, uh, they were even more in numbers than whites, yet with the Bible, they were con into slavery one of the greatest evils ever done to mankind if black no they they got they ass beat into slavery man the bible was 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 a uh, was a uh, produced later all right because jake didn't understand english all right we were still speak speaking the hebrew you got our ass beat into 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 slavery if black people are asked to think critically when holding the same Bible that enslaved them, they refuse to question what's in the Bible as they fear they will be sinning against Yahweh or, or God. It says the white slave masters were Bible believing, sincere Christians. They went to Africa to spread the gospel and saw an opportunity to enslave black people to make their lives better using the very gospel they were spreading. That's the word gospel means good news. All right. It says today the white man has finished. White man has finished with the Bible. In fact, they are finished with God. They remove God from their schools and sit. Cause why? They're not the people. Okay, they're the, they're the devil. Okay. Let me hold on. The uh, <laughs> how was I said this? To Esau noodle noodle. If you uh, it's a book, right? I said it's a book's a movie. It's a, a part in uh uh what's the name of that movie? The Book of Eli. All right. When the white dude wanted, wanted the Bible. All right. He said, Hey, I want that book. He said, What? The that that book has power in it. All right. Prince. Hold on. In the world. See? Here we go. It says, Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world, which is who the so called white man cometh, and have nothing in me but that the world know Philakia. It says that the but that the world may know that the love of the Father, and as the Father gave me the gave gave me Commandments, so I do arise, let us hence. All right, so the prince of this world has nothing to do with you, I was shy, man. All right, read it over again. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me. You see, he so the so called white man, he has nothing to do with you, how about you, I was shy, man. Okay, the scripture says, The fool have said in his heart, There is no God. Who's the biggest fool on this earth? The so-called white man. All right, where I'm at? Because uh, first of all, we live in a godless society, man. Okay? It says, for now, the masters of athe atheism, they call the Bible an evil, uncivilized book. However, 
they are still reaping the benefits of the Bible that gave them slavery, colonization. They are most privileged people in the world and only reason why they are privileged because of the forefathers used the Bible to enslave black people and better their lives. So basically, the person that wrote this is just totally against the scriptures. All right. That is, it says that is the inheritance of white people. As for black people still divided today, still suffering as hell, still experiencing the after, after effects of colonization, which is probably never end. They will hold and defend the Bible to death. Because why, man? You get a scripture, man. Yes, we will. That's a uh, matter of fact. Go to the book of Rome. Hold on. Uh, of course, because Jake, we the, we the people. So, yes, Jake is going to hold on to the scriptures. One second. It says, uh, for I bear record, for, so I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. You see? So our people, we have a zeal, but what? Not according to knowledge. Okay? That's why Jacob's in the churches. All right? That's why Jake believes in, in in the most high, because first of all, it's something that the Lord put in us, man. All right. It's called what? Uh, let me get another scripture. Hold on. It's another that the Lord gave us. It's, it's, it's naturally put put in us. Uh, Lord, you see, uh, put this in. It should pop up in book of Isaiah it is naturally in us man see listen listen to this it says for the Lord have sent a word into Jacob and he have lightened it upon Israel so see it's naturally in us man okay that's why we got that zeal that's why Jake is what attracted to the Bible man let's get one more scripture because you know what I ain't gonna waste exactly too much time on this article like I did last night. Romans 8 and 16. It says, The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. And what's the Spirit? All right. The Lord said, The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. All right. Which is what? The Holy Scriptures. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. You see? So that's why Jake is into the Bible. And if and if children then and he and hears and hears and hears of Yahweh and join and join heirs with Yahweh Shai, and if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Alright, let's go back to this article, read a little bit more, I might jump down. Uh, no, I read this last. Uh, Jesus, because Jake asked this through. It says, uh, if you want to be where the whites are today, only solution is to do what white people do today. All right, basically. <laughs> well, I got another scripture for this dude, man. All right, this nigga. <laughs> he basically told you to be the damn devil. Matter of fact, envy, I'll put not. Listen to this. Proverbs 3 and 31, it says, 
envy thou not the the oppressor and choose none of his ways. You see? So basically this dude is telling you, hey man, go be like the fucking white man. You know? It says remove the it says remove remove the Bible from your head for one for one hour and question it, think if it's being uh depossessed. It's not being evil, it's called freedom unless you will ever get this place. As black people, we will forever be in chains. It is clear to me that even in 2007, black people are not ready for freedom. The real free freedom is to, uh, 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 this, 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 uh, this, this, this truth right here, man. All right. These scriptures. Let's, let's see. Sucker. Who that wrote this article is a emotional asshole. And really the truth is just not for, for this guy, you know. Uh, John 8 and 31. Then say Yahweh shy to the Jews which believed in him. If ye continue in my word, then ye, then ye are my disciples indeed. And ye should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, man. All right, you don't know the truth, and you ain't free. All right. So with that, um, I'm going to give all praise and glory to you. How about Shino Rashad, by Shino Kakadash, the honors to the elders of GMS and salutations to all the Akim out there. Let's push this truth. Shalom.